questions all about makeup and my makeup story. So the first question is, how old were you when you first started wearing makeup? And I want to say it was definitely junior high. I know I was playing with makeup like earlier, like as a young girl. Um, but when I really tried to start wearing makeup and kind of dabbling around with it was probably junior high, which was, I don't even want to know what that looked like. It probably was a disaster. Question number two, how old were you when you started getting into makeup? Um, I've always like wanted to know how to do makeup. Like in high school, I remember the one thing I always wanted to learn the most was how to do a smoky eye. Like I just always wanted to know how to do it. I could never do it on my own. And I just thought that'd be the coolest thing if I could ever learn how to do that. Um, so I've always been really interested, but I want, I'm going to say that when I really actually started getting into it and really like loving it and having fun with it and learning how to do it was probably actually, um, in college. Like honestly, YouTube kind of opened up that world for me and really taught me everything I know about makeup. Number three, what are some of your favorite brands? Um, well, I am very like low key. I'm not like really high maintenance about my makeup. So I'm not very like particular on a specific brand. I will try anything out there. I'm always looking for a good deal. So usually I'm more often than not in looking in like drugstore area type stuff. So I really love Revlon. I love so many of their products. Um, some of them are just like my all-time favorites. Maybelline has some really great stuff. MAC, of course, has some really great products that I love. Um, those are the three that just really pop out to me. What does makeup mean to you? Um, makeup is just something so fun and I think it's just such a great tool for girls to kind of just like play with and experiment with and have fun with and I just there's so many different things that you can do with makeup you can change your look so easily with just all these different techniques and new things that you can do with makeup different colors different styles I mean it's endless and that's what's so much fun to make up so it just also, it just gives a confidence, and I think that it's a really fun thing. It shouldn't be something that makes you only feel confident. I mean, I can go out the door without any makeup on and still feel good about myself, so it's not makeup that's doing that for me, but when you have that certain look that you're going for, it does give you that extra bit of confidence, too. If I could only wear four products on my face, what would they be? Okay, um, this is easy. Okay, definitely foundation. So I have a even coverage on my face, even skin tone. Foundation. Um, okay, foundation, concealer for my under eyes so it like brightens under my eyes. I think that really um, helps you look awake and just brightens up your face. Bronzer for sure. So then you got like can contour and just kind of warm up your face a little bit, give you some dimension and shape. And mascara for sure. Those four things I think I could do a complete look with. Just going out the door with that on would be just fine. What is your favorite thing about makeup? This is kind of like the same answer as what does makeup mean to you. I just think it is so incredibly fun. I mean, I think it's amazing how you can completely change your look from day to night. Um, there's so many different new things coming out, new products all the time, and that's what it's so fun about, you know, experimenting, experimenting with new products and trying new things out there and, and new brushes and new techniques. I mean, there's just so many different things that you can do with makeup. I just love how you can completely change your look and, and it's all with makeup. I mean, you can drastically change the way somebody looks just by applying a little bit of makeup and doing it in all the right places. I mean, that's what's so fun about makeup. What do you think drug about drugstore makeup versus high-end makeup? Like I said, I'm just like very low maintenance, down to earth, and I'm the same way when it comes to my makeup. So as far as the high-end versus the low-end or drugstore makeup, I really just, as long as it gets the job done, then that's fine. And so if... You know, I'm, I know that there are drugstore products out there that are just as good, if not better, than some high-end products that are out there. So I'm definitely willing to, you know, try new things out of the drugstore, and if they work, then that is what I'm going to stick with. 
um, high-end products. I mean, I'm not willing to try as many out there because they are a lot more expensive than your drugstore products. So that's just my perspective on it. What tip of advice can you give to a beginner? Definitely, um, if you're just beginning makeup, I would, one, check out videos here on YouTube because you are going to learn so much. That's how I literally learned everything. And secondly, same thing. Just by watching YouTube videos, I also got me practicing and trying new things. And it will introduce you to things that you really never knew. Like I just honestly had no idea how important um, different brushes were for your face, for your eyes. And that really will make a huge difference too. But another really important thing is just practicing, getting used to different techniques and blending. And once you get that down and just keep trying new things and seeing what what you're best at and how you can do it, how, what works for your face, what doesn't, that's all really important. And once you do that, you will definitely get the hang of it and it's just going to come naturally to you and you're going to start trying new things and new makeup looks and that's what is so fun about makeup. Next question is, what is one makeup trend you never understood? And I'm like trying really hard to think about one that, that I just like just never got, but I can't, I honestly can't think of one um, that just like stands out to me that I think is just crazy. Um, if I had to pick one, I guess, I mean, this isn't even really like a makeup trend, but I would guess like maybe like dark, like, I don't know, because it works for some people, but it just doesn't work for me. That doesn't mean it's a makeup trend I don't understand, but I was going to say like, like black or like dark purple lipstick. But that kind of just, I don't know, that's like a runway trend, not like something you'd wear on the street, but I'm not sure. <laughs> and the last and final question is, what do you think about the beauty community here on YouTube? I know so many people have like complained and talked about how it's all about advertising for companies and yada, yada, yada. And like, yeah, that is kind of like all over and just kind of in your face and it does get annoying, I know. Um... But honestly, looking past all that, the beauty community here on YouTube is amazing. I think it is like such a great tool for girls who are interested in the beauty world as far as makeup and hair and beauty and clothing and all that. I mean, it has opened a whole new world for me and it is like, it's like a hobby of mine now. It's like something I just absolutely love. I have fallen so much in love with makeup and learning so much about it that it's honestly even made me question like, is this the direction I want to go in? Do I want to become a makeup artist? Is this something I want to continue doing? But either way, whatever I do, this is always going to be something that I love doing. It's something fun. So this community, if I didn't find YouTube, I know that I would probably never have created this obsession that I have right now um, or learn or know half of what I do about makeup. I mean, I still, there's like new things all the time that I'm learning and there's just so much out there and it's so exciting and so fun and I'm literally just obsessed. So I think the beauty community is a wonderful thing. So those are my 10 questions to my makeup story. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you guys have any questions that maybe weren't involved in this tag and you're still curious about. I'd love to answer them for you. So, and if there's any other tags you'd love to see me do, I love doing tags. Let me know and I'd be happy to do that as well. So, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!